compost treat. Lettuce and apples. Ooh, the cows really like apples, so do the pigs. Did you hear me? Did you hear me say apple? Whoa! She almost got my whole hand. Girl, I don't think I would have taken that whole bite all at once. She didn't want to have to compete. There you go. Now you got your lettuce. <laughs> Bowser, you're going to run away with it, aren't you? Mama, you're starting to look like you're dropping. Maybe you are going to have some babies for me in a week. You're looking a lot lower. Yes, for those of you that are wondering, I do refill this water twice a day, and it is not their only water. They have a refilling trough. Hi. What What are you doing? Did you want some love? Or do you want some apples? I gave you the last one, baby. So, mainly this is just a water for convenience for Bowser. He likes to have the lower water, so I... I do refill it for him, even though he can drink out of the other one, he prefers to drink out of the lower. And I was just looking at Mama's belly on the other side. Let's see if I can see it again. I don't know if it'll be picked up by the camera, but I could see babies kicking, I'm pretty sure. You got some babies in there, Mama? There, I'll see a movement. Come on with the babies, girl. So Ryan began to prepare a birthing hut for Miss Peaches to have her babies. Uh, she hasn't been going in there at all, so we're not closing her in there. Just in case she farrows in the other shelter, we'll be able to move her and her babies into here and quickly pull the wire fence around them so that they can have some secure bonding time at the early stages. Though Bill does like raising babies. I don't know, he's so much bigger this year, it's it's a little bit more intimidating. And that's pretty intimidating too, so we want to keep the babies protected and safe. You gonna check it out for her? And as you can see, they do have other water source and they do muck it up pretty good. So do the ducks. Are you off of your nest? Are you off of your nest? So I didn't have to bring her food and water because she is coming out and getting food at feeding time and she is coming out to get drinks too. So that's good. But she is staying on that nest primarily. I've got my swarm trap set up. It's not up high like a swarm trap should be, but I'm hoping somebody will move in here. Our bees have been delayed. We had some issues getting them here. So we're still waiting on our new spring bees to arrive. Oh my goodness, Mama Friendship, you are so fat. How are you so fat? And how are there so many flies? Daddy put the fly stuff on you. She's so fat she has a lump on her middle of her back. And... I'm not really overfeeding her, I swear. She just really does well putting on the weight. She looks like she's bred and she's not. I wish she was bred. I need to get a bowl. She has all this lush pasture and she gets hay every day too. That I'm sure helps, but it's just to keep her fat and happy. Ideally, I would like to just get a bowl to stud them and have him come visit stay a little while, make sure he covers two cycles, and then leave again. I don't want to have to go out and buy a bowl, but that might end up being what I have to do. I just haven't been able to be successful so far in communications, so I need to get better at it. I need to reach out more frequently, because this needs to happen. My bad, that was a different anaconda that I saw out there. 
This Ancana is the one that's on the nest, and she's still nesting. Cooney are so nice. They only make one spot by their water that they wallow in. They don't tear up the whole pasture. As you can see, there's not a sign of them rooting anywhere. Just their one little mud spot, which they need because pigs don't sweat. So they need this to help them cool off. Don't you, Mama? You just sat down right in that water trough. You were hoping it was full of water, weren't you? You sweet girl. Yeah. She's definitely looking bred now. It was weird because she didn't look fat at all until now. Growing them babies good in the last couple of weeks, huh baby?